a tranquil village on Uruguay's southern coast. Ten years ago, Jose Ignacio became a destination location for the Latino jet set, followed soon after by European and American elites. Outsiders with deep pockets have driven property prices sky high. Beachfront properties like this one, of more than 10,000 square feet, last year sold for $1.5 million. The agency sold this home to a couple from Argentina. Like many, they were seduced by Jose Ignacio's carefree atmosphere. It's really magical for us to know that we have a little piece of land that we can enjoy, and especially that our kids can hear the sound of the ocean in the morning and experience the serenity of the beach. Here, each house is unique, constructed by the world's most prominent architects. Outside of town, ranches with a touch of the lux life have become hot properties. To protect this patch of paradise, residents have established rules for the town's historic center. Towers and hotels are forbidden, as well as bars and nightclubs. We want a place where people come because they love the beach, the sound of the wind and waves breaking against the sand. But the rules haven't improved everyone's life, say some locals. Economically, there may be a lot of money here, but it's not the same as before. Not being able to find a parking spot, not being able to own a home in town, makes it hard to have a peaceful life. About 2,500 people while away their summers in Jose Ignacio, but only 30 stay on year-round. Tempted by windfall offers, most locals have cashed in and moved on. Only one family has refused to sell.